Brother, you bring me baby sister. Mm. Not the neatest thing in the world, huh, pal? Congratulations, you two. They're just beautiful. Oh, they really are. So I guess this means everything went okay. The babies are all right. Yeah, thanks to their daddy. Well, a little help from the mom. Oh, well. And the goddess, don't forget the goddess, honey. So what are you saying, Max? Are you the one who delivered those babies? He escaped. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> so, what are we going to call them? Yeah, you didn't even tell us what their names were. Honey, may I do the honors? Oh, be my guest. Friends, relatives, and assorted loved ones. It is with great pride and affection that I introduce you to the two newest Moody Holden clan, Moon Glow and Carol. I've been doing a lot of thinking, David, and, and it was wrong of me to dismiss what you were saying without checking it out first. So I was talking to Vicky. What, what did she say? She said it was true. You thought ending the marriage was the only way Cord would let me keep CJ and Sarah. So do you believe me? I love you. I never stopped loving you. You were willing to let me go so I could keep my kids. It's a pretty wonderful thing. And so I'm willing to see if we could try and maybe start over again. You are? Yeah. I thought maybe, you know, since you're getting a divorce from Dorian, that maybe you and I could, you know, try and just... You are getting a divorce, aren't you? I am. I mean, I, I will, but... Don't be bad. I hate you. No, it, 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 there's just been a, a couple snags. Snags? What kind of snags? You said last night you promised me that when Dorian came back in town, you were going to get a divorce. Is she back or not? Uh, well, well, yes, she is, but... No but. David, I want an answer. Are you getting a divorce or not? What do you think? What do I think? I think I just took a wrong turn and ended up in a toy store. A very expensive toy store. Yeah, well, after I got the sun out this morning, I felt like celebrating. I picked up a few things for the baby. A few things. Todd, I do believe that there is every animal in the world here. When I felt the baby move today, it became very real to you, didn't it? That you're going to be a daddy. And I guess it did. Didn't it make you feel like it was real? Of course it did. I mean, feeling our baby move was was incredible. But Todd, it'll, it'll be a while before the baby is due, and don't you think all this is just a little too much? No, too no such thing as too much, not for my kid. No, I'm just getting started. My kid's gonna have everything. So will we. Starting today. Nice work, Todd. Very, very nice. Come in. Vicki. Are you okay? Uh, well, I've been better. Oh. I know just what you mean. I've come real close to losing it ever since I read that piece of trash. But I guess at this point, there's nothing we can do about it, is there? Well, yes, there is. I've just written an article that's going to make the sun know the taste of failure.
guys think of the names? Well, uh, Carol is, is very, uh, it's, yeah, it's different. Uh, I get it, though. It's like tarot cards. Yeah, yeah uh, different. Yeah, and Moon Glow is, you know, uh, a, um, better than, uh, uh, than Shine. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. Really. Uh, those names hmm. are weird. Which one's a boy's and which one's a girl? <laughs> we are kids now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, then you're not going to name these kids Moon Glow and Tarot. Uh -huh. We might be strange, but we're not that. <laughs> God, I couldn't have one just your name. <laughs> well, my niece named Moon Glow for that matter. <laughs> so, what are they going to call them? Well, your little brother here, his name is Francis Thomas Moody Holden. Francis is a girl's name. Not when it's spelled with an I, and besides, you can call him Frank or... Frankie or Frankenstein, something like that. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> and this one right here, this is Leslie Diana Moody Holden. Wow, beautiful name for a beautiful little girl. Oh, thank you, honey. But you know, the real great joy is they were born happy and healthy and whole. Mm -hmm. So, Max, are you going to tell us about your heroics or what? Oh, it was just your uh, basic simple epic, you know, once the power was down and the phones were out and the car was stuck in the mud and the cellular phone wasn't working, I, I figured I'd be doing the honors myself, so, uh, Francis Thomas here, mm -hmm. just a piece of cake. No problem delivering him. Yeah, see, uh, Leslie Diana, she wasn't so cooperative. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Well, she, she gave us a little trouble. The umbilical cord was around her neck. Honey, what did you do? Yeah. Well, I kept my famous cool, and I just loosened the cord up, and uh, out popped my gorgeous little girl. Well, I'm so glad everything worked out all right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Two beautiful little babies. What more could you ask for? Oh, maybe a little sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, yes. Okay. Why don't we all get out of here before the nurse comes by and sees how many people we've crammed in here and kicked us out? Yeah, we gotta go pick up your car because we left it at the barn because that tree had fallen down in the road. But uh, anyway, we did good, sis. Oh, thank you, honey. I love you. I love you. And uh, you didn't do it too bad yourself. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Holden retires as of today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, Andy, would you say we uh, go get a cup of coffee? Huh? No, I, uh, you know, uh, a cup of coffee would really hit the spot. <laughs> Wait, bye bye, your Aunt Andy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, would you look at her? Hi. She's got your eyes. Oh, honey. Look at him. Look at that little smile. Mm. He's such a little thing. Just like Daddy. Mm-hmm. Well. Hey, partner, where do you think you're going? Aren't you going to come home your new brother and sister? Yeah. <laughs> you're right, Todd. Why shouldn't our baby have all this? Why shouldn't he or she have everything she ever wants? He. I got a feeling that's a he. Oh, really? Now, what if it's a she? Oh, it's all right with me. I mean, if she's anything like you. You are going to be a wonderful daddy. And if you want to spoil our baby, you go right ahead. Go right ahead. I mean, I know what it's like growing up. Scraping for every dime that makes you hard and untrusting. And I don't want our baby to be afraid of anything. No, he'll know that he's wanted. That he's cared about. He'll never doubt that. Our baby's going to know that he's loved and cared for. And our baby is going to have the best of everything. The best toys, the best birthday parties, the best dresses, the best football. Yeah, and when he's old enough, he'll get one of the best papers in the country. By the time he's grown, the sun is going to be bigger than the New York Times. <laughs> I like your confidence, Mr. Manny. Yeah, well, I am confident. I got a lot. I got a right to be confident. I got off to a pretty good start. 
I mean, this 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 headline is gold. I'd love to see their faces at the banner. They must be going nuts trying to figure out how do they do this. Well, I'm sure that it's got them talking all right. But Todd, you know what Mr. Briggs said about the cooperation and all. I mean, if if you don't well, have look, the facts I, I on there, where did the facts find? I know that. He took a big risk. Yeah, well, the bigger the risk, the bigger the prize. People are talking about the sun on street corners all over the state. I'm a hit. At what cost? At any cost. I'll do anything to make sure that the sun is number one. Anything. Boy, you are really determined to hit back at the sun, huh? My article is going to make Todd's story read like a bad joke. Bo made some calls. Put me in touch with some very reliable sources at the police department. And they all said that there is no basis for Todd's allegations that Anyone on the force is selling guns to those gangs. Well, what are you saying? That Todd made the whole thing up? I'm saying that Todd, in his arrogance, made the stupid mistake of printing a story without having any facts to back it up, and now he's going to pay for it. When we hit the stands, the son is going to lose any chance it ever had for credibility. You just watch. His sales are going to dropped like a stone and it couldn't have happened at a better time tomorrow is our 60th anniversary edition right mm. well what better way to celebrate it than with a big story right under our brand new logo boy that is so great and this 60th anniversary issue is going to be so special isn't it mm -hmm. is it all set to go almost first i have to ask you a question uh-huh I know that you're trying to deal with some problems about the past and uh, about your father. Oh, yes, father. The tyrant that I've always defended. Well, as you know, we, uh, we were planning on running a tribute to him on the editorial page. But I want you to call it. If you're having a trouble with the tribute, then... Oh, no, no, don't worry about me. Are you sure? I mean, whatever his faults may have been, he did found the banner. Yeah, he should be honored for that. Good. Then we'll uh, print the tribute. Okay. Excuse me? Yeah. I'll tell him. Maybe he'll be down the hall with some question about the new logo. Hmm. I'll be back. Okay. It doesn't really matter what your new logo looks like, or how good your article is, or whether or not you print a tribute to Victor Lord. No one is going to see it, because no one is going to read the 60th anniversary edition of the banner. I'm going to see you back. Tina, you have got to believe me. There is nothing more than I want than to get Dorian out of my life and get back together with you. Then what's stopping you? Well, there have been complications with the divorce i'm sure that you understand i understand complications snags just means more lies from david vicker Dear, i'm doing everything that i can but dorian is being difficult now surprise surprise tina look i know that i can get this done okay just give me a little time oh come on david no one knows divorces more than i do you're talking to tina lord roberts 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 rogan vicker and if you want out badly enough, it doesn't matter what Dorian wants. But obviously you're just feeding me more lies because you have no intentions of getting a divorce. I told you that is not true. Why are you doing this to me? Are you enjoying hurting me? Please, Tina, don't talk You have like no that. idea what this is doing to me. You know, maybe I'm starting to think this is some, some kind of a sickness. That you have an uncontrollable desire to hurt me. That is crazy. What? That's it. No, maybe you're crazy. That would explain a lot, you know? And maybe you're just so sick, you don't even know how sick your sickness really is. What do you think about that? Hey, the seat is so tiny. Have you ever seen anything so small in a life, Dad? <laughs> well, don't you worry, honey. Pretty soon they're going to be as big and strong as you are. Boy, they have a long way to go. <laughs> well, that's why we're all going to have to look out for them, all three of us. I'll protect them in school and stuff. Make sure nobody picks on them. Mm. Well, honey, that is wonderful. 
I'm going to tell you what, I feel so much better right now knowing I'm not going to have to worry about that. It's going to take a lot of time to take care of two babies, isn't it? It is going to take a lot of time, especially these next few months. I mean, these two are going to wake up in the middle of the night crying louder than you could ever imagine. And we're all going to lose sleep, we're all going to be cranky because they're going to be keeping us awake all night. I know. Yeah, well, there's something you may not know, which is that no matter how crazy it gets, Luna and I will always have time for you, okay? Because you are a little man, right. and nothing and no one or two will ever change that. Love you, pal. Love you, too, Dad. Oh. Hello there, beautiful lady. Oh, hi there again. Did you get the problem settled about the logo? Everything's been taken care of. The 60th anniversary edition of the banner has been officially put to bed. Oh. The presses will be rolling in an hour. Oh, that is so great. You know what? I think that we should all go over to the club and toast a job well done. Uh, unless you have something more pressing to do. <laughs> oh, no, uh... I mean, we've all certainly earned the right to celebrate. Well, yeah. I think drinks at the club is a great idea. Yeah. In fact, maybe we could yeah. stick around and I could talk somebody into buying me dinner. Well, actually, um, I was thinking that maybe afterwards we could go back to Landfair and fire up the grill and have a, you know, old-fashioned, world-famous Buchanan barbecue, you know, for old times' sake. Well, I'm there. That is, uh, <laughs> if my boss would give me the time off. <laughs> of course. I mean, a family newspaper deserves a family celebration. <laughs> oh, great. Well, then it's settled. Terrific. Now, who's going to cook? Uh, Joey. I will go <laughs> round him up and Jesse, make sure they can be there. Otherwise, we have to cook. Well, come on. Nothing is too hard for you two, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys go over to the club and get us a table for drinks? Well, what about you? Aren't you coming with us? Yeah, I've got about ten minutes more of, you know, a little loose ends to tie up, and then I'll be there. Oh, we'll see you there. Okay. Hey, Mom. Huh? I think this is a terrific idea. I mean, really terrific. Good. Thanks. Oh, good. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. A few minutes is all I need. Of that truck driver to give us a ride all the way out here. Well, the engine's dry and running like a kitten, and well, back us out. Did we wait? Did we forget anything else here before we go? Oh my! Come here! Look at this! What? A double oh. rainbow. I have never seen that before. Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. Two rainbows side by side. I mean, each one's perfect, but yeah. but together. Wow, it's like a miracle. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the twins. Yeah, it does remind me of the twins. And maybe it also reminds me of two other people I know that are just perfect together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you feeling? Wow. <sighs> two kicks in one day. <laughs> Maybe he'll wind up playing football. Like his daddy. I don't know. I'm... Hey, look, I played football for all the wrong reasons. I mean, if my son wants to play football, it'll be because he wants to play football, not because I want him to. And whatever he does, I'll, I'll love him just the same. Oh, well, what's wrong? Nothing. Why are you crying? I'm just... It just hit me, Todd. How happy I am. Because of the baby? Yeah. Because of the baby. Because of you. I don't know. 
I mean, maybe we, we shouldn't. I mean, there's the baby. And... Oh, Todd, everything is fine with the baby. We can't hurt our baby. We can do whatever we want. The baby will be fine. Everything will be fine. but not too complicated. Cool. Okay. All I need now is just a few minutes alone in the mechanical room. First room, Ike Rasson. Ike, hi. It's uh, Victoria Carpenter. I need to speak to you. Uh, it's kind of important. Oh, sure thing, Mrs. C. Uh, listen, I'm all alone down here. As soon as I can find somebody, I'll come right up to your office. Oh, no need for that. No, I'll come down there and talk to you there, okay? I'll be right down. in here without those two little twins. Well, doctor's just got to do a quick checkup. They'll be back in a few minutes. A few minutes for a couple of miracles. Miracles, right. Boy, Luna, when you think of all the things that could have gone wrong, you being stuck at the end like that, Max having to play doctor? Oh, honey. Tell you, when the, I knew the cards told me that the twins were going to be born at the end, but they sure didn't tell me we were going to have to deliver them. I would have paid money to see the expression on Max's face the minute that he realized that he was the one who was going to have to deliver those babies. <laughs> He was a little scared. Oh, just a little bit scared. <laughs> he was as wild as a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> and from close up, yeah. they kind of look like you too, but only cuter and with a shorter neck. Ooh, that's an imaginative description. Hey, aren't you hungry by now? Yeah. The cafeteria is right down that hall here. Go buy yourself a donut. Actually, buy me a couple here. <laughs> and I want change. Can I hold the twins when I come back? Sure. Uh, it's really great how he's adjusting to these twins. You know, most kids his age would have been jealous. Oh, give him time. He's too excited <laughs> to be jealous right now. I'm excited, too. Really? Yeah. Mm, he seems so far away. Just thinking, I guess. About what? Mm, how lucky your kids are to be growing up together in the same house. You know, I, I don't really have any regrets, but I do wish that we would have known each other better as kids. Yeah, I feel the same way. Would have been nice to have a kid sister like you to push around. Steve and I could have just <laughs> wailed on you. But don't worry, don't worry about it. The rest of our lives for me to get on your case. Oh, good. I can't wait. I'm to look forward to it. <laughs> the idea that I get some sort of sick satisfaction out of lying to you, well, that's just... That's just sick. I know, yeah. And that's why I think you need to see a doctor. I don't need to see a doctor. I'm not sick. Well, I'd like to believe you, David, but you're probably just in denial. That's what it's called. Denial, lying. I am not lying. I love you. Do you want me to stand up on this table and shout it out? I will. No, David, you don't. Know, what good is shouting going to do? You're not going to get a divorce. What good are more lines going to do? You know, I just need a little more time, okay? You've got to believe me. Believe you? David, you've lost all credibility with me. No matter what you say, you just can't tell the truth. And it's not your problem anymore. It's my problem now, too. And I've been reading all about it in this self-help book, Men Who Lie to Women and Women Who Love Them. I, I do not believe this. You're going to run your life based on some psychobabble joke book? 
That's no joke, Book David. It describes us to a T. You have some sick need to lie to me. And I have some deranged need to believe in you. It's a vicious circle. The more you lie to me, the more I care about you. Well, you know what? I'm getting off this merry-go-round right now. What does that mean? It means I'm not going to see you until you have divorce papers in your hands. Goodbye. Wait, Tina, don't... Well, I mean it, Dad. I think the uh, article you wrote for tomorrow's edition is... Well, it's great. I mean, you made Todd's headline scare about cops selling guns sound like the tabloid garbage it is. Well, I wanted the anniversary edition to be <clears throat> special. Something we can all be proud of. Well, I know Mom's very proud of it. And, hey, I'm, I'm really glad that she suggested we all get together tonight, you know? I think this barbecue thing's gonna be a lot of fun. It's kind of like old times, huh? I know what you're thinking, Kevin. Don't make something of it that it, that it isn't. It's a barbecue. Just a barbecue. It doesn't mean your mom and I are going to be getting back together. Oh, I know that. I mean, I, I know that. Look, I, I won't even mention it again. It's just... I mean, you have, to, you have to admit that she has warmed up a lot lately, though. A couple weeks ago, she was pushing Joey away. She asked you to stay out of her life. Now she suggests a family barbecue for uh, old time's sake. I'm sure that your mother just wants to celebrate Banner's anniversary. Why don't you invite Andy? Might give her a chance to uh, get to know the family. Unless, of course, you don't want to subject her to any more Buchanan's than she already has in her life. <laughs> uh, she's a tough lady. I think she could handle it. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll uh, check it out with Mom, make sure it's okay, and I'll give her a call. Good, good. You know, this is going to be one heck of a night. All of us together again and uh, celebrating the Banner's 60th. Yeah, 60 years. It's quite a legacy. Yes, it is. You know, and I have a feeling that the future is going to be even better for all of us, including the Banner. Welcome to my office. Well, thank you very much. My goodness, you spend all this time down here all by yourself. Doesn't that get kind of tiresome? Sir? Well, it gets lonely sometimes, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so, uh, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I need a favor. Now, I know you're about ready to start up the 60th anniversary edition, aren't you? Yeah, the uh, presses are set to start printing in about 15 minutes. Great, great. Okay, here's what I would like you to do, all right? Um, I would like you to take the first 20 copies, set them aside, and number them. See, I would like those 20 copies to be my gift to Clint and, and all of you longtime employees. You know, we've worked so hard to make the paper success over the years. That's a nice idea, Mrs. C. Oh, do you think so? Oh, I'm very glad. Thank you. Anyway, after you've numbered them, I'd like you to get a messenger to hand deliver them right away to all the people so they can have their copies literally hot off the press, you know, before they hit the fan. Do you think you could do that for me? Sure. Oh. Except if you want those papers out that fast, I should arrange for a messenger right away. Oh, okay. Well, you can do that. Well, uh, what? I'm not supposed to leave the presses unattended. Oh, oh, don't worry about that. You go ahead and take care of the messenger. I'll hang around here till you get back. Thanks. It'll probably only take a few minutes. Oh, okay. place I'd rather be right now. A sky full of rainbows and the most beautiful woman in the world here with me. Honey, are you okay? Hmm? Are you okay? Sure. Why? Well, because you haven't said anything for about two minutes and uh, judging from that look on your face. No, I'm just feeling kind of overwhelmed. Happy. I'm thankful for a lot of things. Well, you're happy, huh? 
Well, you are about the saddest looking happy person I've ever seen in my entire life. Marty, what's wrong? Oh, lots of things. Um, two years ago tonight, spring fling. The night that, uh, uh, ooh, Todd and the others raped me. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know. I don't know, I can't get the memory out of my head. It changed my life forever. Being violated like that, you just, you're, you, you're so scared to let your guard down, to be yourself. For so long afterwards, <laughs> the only part of me that I thought was alive was that fear. There's no way I thought that I could ever feel safe again, or, 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 or trust another man, or want to be with one. <laughs> Sounds like to me that that's only natural. Yeah, but you know, if you can't trust anyone, then you just cut yourself off from the rest of the world. I tried to reach out to someone. Wade Pruitt. Well, he was killed. And I felt pretty dead inside. I got close to Andrew. Things got pretty messed up. Well, of course, you know that. Yeah, and you know what? I want to tell you something. That finally, I understand why. Believe me, I really do, okay? I understand that you were lost and that he was there to save you. And you know what? I'm thankful for that. Okay? I am so glad we get to sleep together. I'm so glad that we stopped and realized what was really going on. And when I think of what... done myself and Andrew and Patsy. I was just so desperate to be close to someone and to trust them. Believe me, I know how you feel. I mean, I, what I went through was nothing compared to what you went through, but I do know what it means to want to, to, to trust again. I mean, I, I mean, if you get right down to it, isn't that what love's all about? Can you believe it? We are not only filthy rich, but we're happy, too. I mean, some people would say that that doesn't belong. Those two don't belong together. You trying to tell me you're happy? Yes, I'm happy. Got a baby on the way, and a husband who gives me anything I ever wanted, including this wonderful present. Whatever it is, there it is. No big deal. What? No big deal? This is a full-page color in your first issue. This is, this is a big, very, very big deal. Well, pretty soon you won't need free publicity. Melodor is going to be big. I hope so. Oh, gosh. In a few months, our baby will be here, and Melodor will be going great guns. And the sun will be number one. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. What do you mean, let's hope so? Sun is going to be number one. But, Todd, the banner is a very old, established The banner newspaper. is old news. But, sweetie, it's been around a while, and it's highly respected, not just here in Landy, but all over the East Coast. What are you trying to say? You don't think I got what it takes to beat them? No, I'm not saying that at all. I just don't want you to underestimate its power. It's going to take a lot to bring it down.
was real nice. I hope that's my husband. Uh, I think it's your lover. Uh. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't, honey. I was just lying here thinking about some things we got to do to get those twins settled into our home. Well, we got plenty of time for that. Why don't you just rest and relax? Oh, we've got some quiet in here, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we got some quiet time right now because I think we need to talk about something. About what? I owe you an apology, honey. For what? Well, I made Tina take me to the Mountain Sunset Inn, and you wanted me to stay down, and and if I hadn't done that, well, our babies could have been delivered in the hospital with staff and a midwife, and instead of a cabin, with nobody to help you when you got scared. And even though in my heart I know that's how it was meant to be, I, I know that's not what you wanted, and um, I just want to say I'm so sorry. There's no need to apologize you. for that now. Helping those babies into the world has to be the most awesome, amazing, incredible experience I've ever had. And you are the most awesome, amazing, incredible woman I've ever met. And I just can't wait to see what that tarot deck has in store for us next. Can you trust me? No, I was just thinking. Do you remember when I said that I was happy and thankful? Trust you with my life. Won't be long now. Mom? What's happening? 